let's see what are interfaces in Golang. As we saw earlier, structs are the collections of data type, the collections of values. And here, interfaces are a collection of behaviors. So it is very similar like creating structs. Structs also we are creating as a type. Interfaces also will be creating as a type. So let's just create one interface. The syntax is type and then we have to give the name of the interface. Here, let's take example of a geometry. Okay, and then you have to give the keyword interface and within the curly braces you have to define the behaviors behavior means we will be defining the different methods okay so let's just define two methods we will define method area which will return float64 and we will define the method parameter which will return float64 so instead of defining the data types as we were using in the structs we define the methods over here this methods will be the behaviors okay in the interface as we are familiar with the other languages there we will be implementing the interfaces but here the concept is slightly different what we will be doing is we will be creating a structs and we will be creating the methods for those structs and while using it we will be defining those structs to a this particular interface so let's see how we can do it so here for this particular geometry interface let's just create the couple of structs over here we'll create circle and we'll create rectangle and we'll create we'll implement these methods for those particular structs okay so let me just create one struct type circle which is of struct and here inside this circle struct we will define the properties so circle will be having the property radius of floor 64 and let's create one more struct type rectangle and here it will be having two properties height and width so let's just give height and width we define two structs over here okay circle structs and rectangle structs now we have to create the methods for the implementation of area and parameter for these two structs okay so let's just create two methods for rectangle and two methods for struct okay so what we'll do so we'll create the functions which will be the methods for our struct We'll take rectangle as an input over here because we are creating the methods for this rectangle and let's call the same area which will return floor 64. So, so the method signature should be similar. Okay. Now how to get the area of the rectangle. We will do return r dot width into r dot height. This is the implementation now. Now let's create one more method function r of rectangle and this is the parameter which will return float 64 and parameter would be 2 into r dot width 2 into r dot width plus 2 into r dot height okay so this will return the parameter of the rectangle so what we did we created the two method implementation for our rectangle struct and the interface would be geometry so let's see how to call this and after that we will do the implementation for circle so in the main method we will do the implementation for this we will do variable rectangle of type geometry because geometry is our interface and we will call rectangle okay so this is the implementation we did over here now we can call fmt dot print ln and inside this we can call the method r dot area and we can call the other method r dot perimeter so now you can see that this is the similar behavior similar implementation that we do in the other programming languages like we create the interface and we define the implementation for those interface and here we have defined the interface implementation in the struct and we are calling that over here okay so at the end we'll be getting the type that is geometry over here so let's run this and you can see that we are getting the values over here now as we have defined the empty struct over here so we are getting the 0 0 so let's just define the values also so we'll define width as 3 and height as 4 okay now let's run this again you can see that we are getting the value as area and parameter now one thing to note over here is whenever you are working with the interfaces you have to implement all the methods available right so if you are not implementing any of the methods available then it will throw the error so suppose if i comment this over here and if i run this again okay let me just comment it out over here also and if i run this again 
so here you can see that we are getting the error that rectangle does not implement geometry missing perimeter method so you have to implement all the methods that you have declared in your interfaces so you can always work for the pointer type as well rather working with the value types you can go for the pointer types as well now let's add the implementation for the circle as well okay so what we will do over here is we will again create the methods which will take circle and will create the area method which will return of flow load 64 and the formula to get the area of the circle is pi r square right so let's return that return math dot pi into c dot radius into c dot radius so this is the method to get the area of the circle now let's create the method to get the perimeter of the circle function will take the circle over here and the method is perimeter right let me just copy this and the formula to get the perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r so let's do 2 into math dot pi into c dot radius now we have implemented the two methods for circle as well now let's go ahead and check how to call that as well okay what we will do variable c for geometry equals to circle and here we will give the radius as 5 and we will call these two methods over here okay we will just call c dot area and we will call c dot parameter okay and let's run this again and you can see that we are getting the value of the circle and we are getting the values for the rectangle also so what we did we just created the interface over here and we created the two structs over here that is going to implement this particular interfaces how to implement this interface you have to create the method implementation for the struct types so we created the method implementation for circle and we created the method implementation for our rectangle as well and we have called using this particular syntax like your geometry should be initialized with the particular struct so this is how you will be able to create the interfaces implement the interfaces and call in the go language <laughs>